Naphthalene, also known as tar camphor and white tar, is the simplest polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. The structure of this molecule consists of two benzene rings fused together, and the molecular formula for this compound is C10H8. Naphthalene is a crystalline solid that is white, is volatile, has a strong coal tar odor, and has poor water solubility. It has a boiling point of 217.9 degrees Celsius and melting point of 80.2 degrees Celsius. This chemical is also flammable, and the vapors given off can be toxic. Naphthalene is mainly used to produce phthalic anhydride through oxidation, which is used to create plastics. Naphthalene is also used in moth repellents because of its ability to vaporize at room temperature and release gas that is toxic to moths. Other uses include creating lubricants, dye intermediates, and tanning agents. Naphthalene can be released into the environment from the use of moth repellents, burning of wood, fossil fuels, and tobacco, processes in production from coal tar or petroleum, and accidental spills. About 92.2% of the naphthalene release is released into the air, 5% is released into the water, and 2.8% is released into the soil. This molecule is biodegradable and does not bioaccumulate, however exposure to high amounts of naphthalene can be toxic to aquatic life such as fish, water fleas, oysters, and green algae. Humans can be exposed to naphthalene through inhalation, ingestion, skin absorption, and eye contact. Short-term exposure can cause eye irritation, headaches, nausea, hemolytic anemia, damage to the liver, and neurological damage. Long-term exposure can cause cataracts and retinal hemorrhages. Naphthalene is also classified as a possible human carcinogen, and it may be associated with an increased risk of developing laryngeal and colorectal cancer. Instead of using moth repellents that are toxic and contain naphthalene, natural moth repellents such as cedar blocks, Cloves, rosemary and thyme in a sachet bag, and lavender in a sachet bag can be placed with clothing to prevent moth damage. Other safe methods include storing clothing in sealed containers away from moist environments, along with removing larvae by washing your clothing and vacuuming your home. Thanks for watching!